Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Exaro Resources has signed a 10-year coal export transportation agreement with Transnet, which will increase coal volumes from the Limpopo-based Waterberg region to the Richards Bay coal terminal in KZN, allowing for the transportation of 7.8 billion tons a year of export coal. Eneen Killian has a story. The agreement will also enable the GG6 expansion of Exaro's critical coal operation in the Waterberg area, which requires rail capacity to RBCT. Exaro CEO Mkulisi Ngojo said that the company would invest 50% of its 20 billion rand coal capital expenditure program over the next five years in the Waterberg area. We have got a number of projects which over the years, when we look at what the possibilities are, where we would be hopefully getting to producing about 60 million tons of coal. Uh, and this coal, will, some of it will be going for the export markets and some to the domestic markets, commercial markets, and some possibly to ESCOM way into the future when the power stations in Bumalanga will be requiring coal uh, from the Waterberg, given the fact that the Waterberg is the last really big coal resources that are going to be left uh, in South Africa to be developed into the future. So we see this vision uh, of creating a much bigger uh, complex into the future, utilizing uh, all the resources that are currently in our control here. And this particular project is actually between ourselves and uh, Transnet, TFR, as one of those phases where we now start looking at the logistics aspect which will enable this movement of coal from the Waterberg to the various markets. So it enables us as a first phase to start developing those projects that unlock the coal from the ground and also on their side it also gives them the opportunity to start putting the logistics solutions that are going to start moving this coal. Phase two of the Waterberg expansion program will grow export rail capacity to 6 million tons through incremental upgrades of the existing rail networks and yards using additional loops, while maintaining the existing axle load, electrical upgrades, and improved train control systems. Mgojo said the agreement was a key contribution to the Waterberg expansion program, earmarked in the National Development Plan, as a strategic coal mining area and national asset to growing the South African economy. The new agreement will also see the collapse of the old contract between Transnet and Exaro. He noted that this agreement came at a time when the Transnet Waterberg program was in full swing, with plans to complete the second phase of the project in March 2019. Three million tons of coal will come from the Waterberg once all the project phases have been ramped up. Mgojo highlighted that Exaro was proud to be developing the Waterberg area in collaboration with Transnet, noting that it was a realization of Exaro's vision to contribute to the unlocking of the Waterberg, create jobs, and power economic development in South Africa. He added that Transnet had a proven track record in building rail capacity and expanding export rail performance in the Waterberg area and across South Africa. Also speaking at the signing of the agreement, Transnet CEO Sia Bonga Gama said that there were a number of stages involved in the development. Electrification is one of them. We've uh, created uh, the Matlabas Loop, which was part of the second phase. So each one of them is just designed to improve and stagger. The, uh, the capacity that's created on the railway line. About 1.3 billion rand has been spent on ground infrastructure and probably an additional 200 million odd uh, on the rolling stock. Other news making headlines, SAB invests millions in black-owned SMMEs. Beverage and brewing company AB InBev subsidiary South African Breweries has invested more than 200 million rand into creating an inclusive supply chain which incorporates black-owned and black women-owned small, medium-sized and micro-enterprises through its supplier development programs, SAB Accelerator and SAB Thrive. We have SAB as an entrepreneurial company and we really expect to be a reference in terms of entrepreneurship, especially here in South Africa, but as well as in the whole continent. So we have many initiatives to, to help development, to help backing up entrepreneurs to develop their businesses. Uh, we have the SAB Foundation, we have the Kickstart, we have the Thrive Fund, and we have the SAB Accelerator. All of them are going to work together with different types of entrepreneurs to help us create 10,000 meaningful jobs here in South Africa in the next five years. Today, uh, this was an event which was focused on our supply chain. So we are inaugurating the Thrive Fund and the SAB Accelerator. So these two initiatives are focused on every element of our supply chain in all our suppliers and see what can we do 
to help them grow, develop their businesses and help create new jobs. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.